Well, good morning, my friends. I have been bright up bright and early. I can't talk because I'm still sleepy. Um, bright and early to watch the sunrise this morning. And um, I got into Jack Peaks just right when it opened. The, I've got some beautiful pictures of just, it was already peaked up, but still um, some bit of beautiful pictures with it shining through these moss trees. They have like the pine trees and then they have like the oak trees and um, the moss grows up here. I don't know what causes that, but it's got like this, it's a very different look. And with the sun shining on it, it looks like in some places it's highlighted. So it's just really beautiful. But as I've been coming back down the mountain, a lot of their sediment is um, uh, from the mountains, uh, the soil here. They have that, I don't know what, you, what it's really called, but when we were kids, we called it chalk rock because you could actually pick it up and you could write with, just like you would chalk. It's very um, powdery. Um, and so there's a lot of that down along the roads where there's been erosion. Well, on some of the areas as I was coming back down, you can see that people have begun to like pile rocks. And this one that I just saw is like a little wall they're starting to build. And all I could think about is in the scriptures. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to turn this around so I can talk and you can enjoy the view. Um, but in the scriptures, it talks about um, walls of walls or um, altars of memorial and also altars of worship, right? Where Abraham brought Isaac to Mount Moriah. Um, and then there was places where they would do um, stones. They would gather stones as a memorial. So like when God would do something amazing in that place, they would gather stones. And they did that so that when people passing by or that later on when they're on walks with their children um, to uh, rehearse to the next generation, the children would be like, well, what's what's that pile of rocks? What is that doing there? Why is that there? Then there would be an opportunity to rehearse to the next generation of the faithfulness of God, what God had done in that place. And they would tell the stories and it would be a remembrance for all who would pass by of how God had been faithful. Well, in looking at these this morning, I hope that you too, like me, would stop for a minute this morning, gather our rocks, and think about how faithful God has been. I'm going to think I'm going to go home and even do something and like write on the rocks the different things that, as I recount God's faithfulness, are amazing that we need to remember because when the rubber meets the road and sometimes we get the air kicked out of our tire and the devil begins to roar um, or things get very difficult, we need to not grow weary and consider what he's done. So um, I hope you gather your rocks and I hope that you recount his faithfulness and that you have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day, my friends. Bye for now. You can see I'm sleepy.